Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Luis and I'm a medical student here in the Philippines. And today I'll be talking about 5 things that every first year medical student should know. So I've recently just finished my second year here in medical school. And I'll be soon entering my third year. And I've had some time to reflect on my experience over the past 2 years. So I decided to go back to a blog post I wrote back in 2019 about my experiences as a first year medical student. And then going through that, I decided to make a video about it so I could share those experiences coupled with my experience now after finishing second year with the YouTube community. And if you like this content guys, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of your own personal experiences and what advice you can give for future medical students. So I'm pretty sure most med students, me and myself included, from primary school all the way to finishing college, could get by through most of their classes with cramming. Like three days or the night before, you just cram all the content for the exam and take the exam the next day and still do pretty well. But in med school, I quickly realized that this is not the case. You can't simply just cram like several months worth of knowledge the night before an exam and expect to do well. And I liken it to the experience of eating pancakes, as one of my friends explained to me. Every day, you're given three pancakes and each would represent a different lecture you had that day. The goal then would be to consume those pancakes and digest them when you study. You could set aside some for the next day, however, you would still need to consume the new set of pancakes you received the following day along with that a pancake you set aside. What I realized from hearing this quote is that the goal is to find a study strategy that best fits you because those pancakes aren't going to eat themselves. From my experience of relearning how to learn again is that the first year of medical school is about trying to find what style best fits you and that you should take the time over the course of the year to experiment and see what is the routine that best helps you retain the information. Because med school is a marathon and not a sprint. So you need to find a system that will keep you going through those three years in the classroom. For me, I made a conscious decision to study 3-5 to five hours every day after school. I preferred this over the weekend warrior method, which would require me to study 6-8 to eight hours for, the day, for both days of the weekend. Because it would allow me to take advantage of the space repetition principle, which is one of the principles that I learned from the YouTuber Ali Abdal, wherein by re-exposing myself to content repeatedly over the course of time rather than just doing it in mass practice, would allow me to better retain the information. In addition, I decided that it's important to study smart and not hard. Because in med school, studying hard isn't enough. With the amount of information that we med students have to learn these days, it's simply impossible to read all the text enough that it will stick. That's why I utilized online resources that gave me the high yield information that helped me to understand the fundamentals of the knowledge I needed to know. In addition, I would utilize apps like Anki, which incorporate the principle of space repetition by allowing me to, to test and retest myself several times throughout the week. To say that one has to make sacrifices in med school is an understatement because the amount of time we have to dedicate to our education is way more than what we used to back in college. From going out with friends, to parties, to spending time with your family, to hobbies that you used to frequently do in college. All of those things will have to take a backseat so that you could dedicate your time to studying your craft. However, this doesn't mean that you still can't do these things. With only 24 hours in a day, you quickly realize there's only a finite amount of time that you can allocate to certain things. For me, I created a framework using Google Calendar so I could structure my day and allocate certain amount of time to specific activities I want by doing this, it allowed me to still have enough time to study for my exams, but at the same time, still have time for other things that I really enjoy, such as playing basketball, watching movies, and hanging out with my family. You need not stick to your schedule so strictly in that, oh, it's 6 o'clock, so I must do this, but rather use it as a framework so that you're making the most out of your time throughout the day. Although being a medical student means you'll be spending most of your time reading your textbooks and listening to lectures in school, that doesn't mean you that's all you, you'll have to do with your time. For me, extracurriculars are the place to hone the skills that aren't necessarily taught in the classroom. From listening to the stories of upperclassmen to forming new friendships within student organizations, it's in building these human relationships 
that you learn the art of medicine. In addition to this, do not neglect the relationships you had existing prior to med school. These include your non-med friends and your family members. Because at the end of the day, these people will form part of your support group, which will help you through the tough times in medicine. Speaking of which, you quickly learn that it can be very easy to get burned out in medicine. Even in my structured schedule and spaced repetition learning style, I still found myself getting burned out several times throughout the year. The number of hours of lectures, laboratory work, self-study, and extracurriculars all took a toll on me. You'll find yourselves wanting to give up at times, when you get a low exam score, when you just feel overwhelmed from the amount of pressure put on your shoulders. But don't give up. Perfection is something that cannot be achieved in medical school. This is best encapsulated by a quote I read from the book When Breath Becomes Air. You can't ever reach perfection, but you can believe in an asymptote toward which you are ceaselessly striving. And what this quote essentially means is that although we cannot reach perfection, we can still put the effort to strive to reach it. Because at the end of the day, greatness is not something you can achieve overnight, but rather the mindset you have to strive for it every single day. So when you're tired, take a break. When you feel overwhelmed, take a step back and recuperate. But never give up because the grit and perseverance you develop in medical school will carry you forward throughout your career as a doctor. Lastly, enjoy the journey. The best thing about medical school is that you're surrounded by a group of people who are also striving to reach that coveted MD. There's sometimes the notion that your classmates in med school are your competition, but I find that this is a very toxic mindset because these are your future colleagues and they'll be the ones who help you out throughout your journey in med school, whether it's listening to your rants about schoolwork or sharing resources to help you study better for an exam. Your classmates will form part of the support group that will pick you up when you're at your lowest. Therefore, you shouldn't see them as competition, but rather as your future colleagues who are helping you through this journey. Because at the end of the day, you're all going through the same thing in school. So guys, I hope you found this video insightful. I hope you found some things that were useful and will help you as you enter your journey in med school. If you like this content, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. My name is Luis, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.